First of all, Brian, I'd like to thank you very much for the invitation to come along tonight and dedicate your new uniform. Kind of a privilege and an honour to be here tonight. And I want to congratulate the band, the Sons of Ulster, on this, their 35th anniversary. And what better way to start your anniversary year than with a new uniform? And I have to say that the uniform is looking very well tonight. But as I thought about tonight, I decided to look at what God's Word would say on the colours that you wear. The first colour tonight is grey. And my first thought was that I'm sure your bandmaster, Toasty, has a lot more grey hairs in his head worrying about these uniforms been ready. But the grey, in God's word, it stands for wisdom. Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10 in God's word says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Can I ask you tonight, do you fear God, the creator of all mankind, the one who has given you breath in your body tonight, the one who has given you health and strength to, to be able to parade even tonight. The colour grey in the scriptures also represents honour and dignity. And as you as a, a band parade the streets of Ulster, each time you do so, do so with honour and with dignity, not doing anything to discredit the uniform that you wear. The colour blue, it symbolises service or loyalty or godly living. You and I can say tonight that you're loyal to your band or you're loyal to your country. But the greatest thing that any of us can be tonight is loyal to Almighty God. How can we be loyal to God? The colour of white that you bear in your uniform, it represents eternal life. Each one of us tonight were born in sin. But the Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be like crimson, they shall be as wool. I would urge you tonight, brethren, that you would think on God. Because one day each one of us will stand before God and he will be our judge. And tonight it is a great privilege to be in a country where each one of us are able to have the open word of God before us. There are many countries that don't have that privilege. And I urge you tonight just to think on these few thoughts. Just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight. And we'll thank you, dear God, for even the opportunity to stand here tonight. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the 35 years that the band has been on the road. And Lord, there has been many changes in those 35 years. But Lord, we thank you that you have never changed. For you are the same yesterday, today and forever. And Heavenly Father, we remember past members, members of the band who are no longer here. Members of the band, Lord, that have sadly passed away. We remember their families tonight. And, oh, Lord, perhaps even as they watch the parade, they would be thinking of those loved ones who are no longer with us. Now, Lord, we come before you. We thank you for the band of purchasing these new uniforms. Lord, we pray you will bless them as they wear them. May they wear them with pride. May they wear them with honour. May they wear them with dignity each time they parade the streets of our country, Lord. Lord, be with them. Give them a good night, dear Lord, as, as the parade rambles time and as all our bands parade as well. Lord, be with us now, for we ask it in your precious name. Amen. Those of us are hats on. Round of applause to Gary for the dedication of the uniform. Round of us are right turn.
Bring it 